Okay guys, today we're switching things up a little bit and I brought Chook on to talk about everyday carry. And we're gonna be going over some everyday carry gear that we use from guns, knives, flashlights, and all that good stuff. So before we get into it, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to both of our channels. The link for his channel will be down in the description below. So make sure you ring the notification bell and let's jump into it. All right, well, uh, I was just gonna share what I have. I kind of have my summer carry and my winter carry. Um, so as far as weapons, this, this is clear. I've got a Glock 19 here, uh, no mag, and I'm really into the crossbreed holster. This is like the wraparound pancake hybrid holster. So, uh, you know, this is pretty big and it's got the optic on it, but uh, this, these hybrid holsters, they just really suck it to your body. I wear it at three o'clock and winter time with jackets, sweatshirts, this is no problem. As for summertime, uh, that tends to print in a t-shirt, so this is also clear. This is Springfield Hellcat, and I've also got an optic on there. I'm probably gonna go to a crossbreed holster and get rid of this light, but as of now, I got a quick lock holster, and this is a really low profile. I, I can carry this inside the waistband, um, summertime, and it's very concealable, so I like that. As far as flashlights, I was using some of the bigger O-lights. Uh, I had a smaller one, the SR2 Baton, uh, but those are just kind of bulky, and I found when I'm camping and hunting, they, they run out and you need to charge them, which I don't always have a charging station. So I switched to these smaller lights. This is the IT3 or whatever, what is it? I3T EOS, and it takes just one uh, AAA battery, and I just carry a bunch of batteries in my pack, and it, it's way better. Um, as far as knives, uh, right now I've got the Boba Fett uh, auto knife, which is just a lot of fun. I've carried other knives, but this is a Microtech Bounty Hunter. Um, so just for fun, I'm carrying that. And that's about it. I really should have some first aid gear on me, which I'm not carrying at this time. So i um, interested to see what, what you're carrying. Yeah, so I don't have quite as many options as I am visiting, so I'm out of town, but for firearms, I've just been carrying the Glock 19X in this one. It's pretty base still. I got it about a month ago, but I did put an extended uh, slide release lever on it. So that's something, but more mods to come on this handgun. And that's carried in a Milt Sparks Summer Special 2. And it's just a really slim leather and alligator and horse uh, holster. Really love this. It's super comfortable for appendix. That's impressive you're able to conceal the yeah. full size like that with the giant grip. That's exactly. I was I was pretty impressed myself when I got it. It's like, wow, this actually works. It fits. Nice. <laughs> so that definitely works out pretty well. As for knives, I have a few more options. Uh, I like to carry a wide variety of lengths and sizes, and I'm quite a knife nut. So I have a Rick Hinder XM18, this is a three inch, so a little bit smaller. The smallest one I have on me, and of course I have my good old Sebenza and Tanto, or large Sebenza 21 in the Tanto tip, and love that knife to death, love Sebenzas. If you've been around the channel at all, you'll know that I have a very strong love for Sebenzas. <laughs> and then I have a Spidey Chef as well. This is a knife that I've been looking at getting for a very long time, and uh, it's one of those kind of knives that I think is like a sleeper almost where you look at it and it doesn't really look like a amazing EDC knife or really cool like tactical knife, but it just performs very well. And the uh, steel that this has, the LC toward and super rust resistant. I'm a big Spyderco fan, so yeah. I like that. I, I love a lot of stuff using myself. Then for multi-tool, I'm carrying a Charge uh, G10 or Charge Plus in G10 blacked out version. Nice. So that's a pretty cool addition. Some people argue about the G10, but I really like the G10. As for flashlights, I'm carrying the Phoenix uh, LC30, and I still really love this thing. It has 1600 lumen output in a very reasonable package, so I can't complain about that at all. So, very nice. That is, I'd say the bulk of it, I got, of course, a Trayback Summit wallet, I have a Meritac uh, Embassy pen, which is soon to be replaced by a titanium pen, but I won't say too much about that. So I like those tactical pens too. I lost I lost mine. I had one. I, I do I did have a big George Costanza wallet and I 
recently switched to just like a little leather, just in case minimalist wallet, and it's more comfortable for sure. Yeah, so. I, I'm a really big fan of minimalist wallets, and I love that microtech. I love the bounty. Oh yeah, it's such I think, especially with the apocalyptic finish that they put on it, or like it is battle worn finish. It's just uh, such an amazing knife. Yeah, I really want to get one myself. And Microtech OTFs are just they're pretty badass. So. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Pretty happy with it. Yeah, a few of them, of them myself, so I can say they are high quality. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I, I don't. The only thing, like I said, that I would change up is I need to carry like a tourniquet on me. Yeah. Um, I also usually carry an extra mag just in the in a pocket. So sometimes I'll carry a couple extra mags, but um, I do need a tourniquet. I, I have some, but. Uh, there's some people that carry little uh, ankle first aid kits that, that could be an option. So, all right. Well, nice to meet you all, and thanks for having me. And uh, I'm going to have him on one of my videos. So, awesome. Okay, guys. God bless, and we're out.